Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 3, and yes, this is where Asuka's uh, final three missions are located, right on the left uh, thing um, in the construction site, and she only has three missions, final, um, in Fort Staunton, starting with her first one here, called Bait. Miguel seems to think I'm mistreating him. Still, he's revealed the extent to which Catalina fears your quest for revenge. She has three death squads dotted around Liberty, whose sole job is to hunt you down. Act as the bait and get the death squads to follow you to Pike Creek, where some of my men will be waiting for them. Ah! Oh. I love when she tortures him like that. <clears throat> She says there are three dotted around Liberty, which literally, because they're they're shown as dots on the map. But uh, yeah, she says Liberty when really. Oh wait, um, not not here. Yeah. After you complete the mission, Grand Theft Auto, you have this nice opening without a hole. Uh, a nice hole opening without a gate. So that's nice. She says they're dotted around Liberty, but uh, no, they're just dotted around. On Shoreside Vale, because they're all on Shoreside Vale, because Liberty would make him think that are they on Stone Island and Portland too? So yeah, it's kind of confusing stuff, but not really. But uh, yeah, and also I kind of find this mission stupid in a certain way because uh, isn't the whole point is to to kill the cartel anyway? Like why do we have to get the Yakuza to kill him? And it, it just makes no sense. Like the whole point of them is to is to make them die while I entertain myself by knocking cars off bridges. Um, and only one made it. Which was the stallion. But anyways, we're gonna... Because there's three... There's three cartels and sentinels of all things. I don't know why they couldn't just do cartel cruisers. But again, then again, because the cartel cruisers are easily flip outable vehicle as I'm gonna get out right now to fix my right door because the cartel cruiser is such an easy, easily flip out of a vehicle I guess they I guess they chose the sentinel because that couldn't flip out so easily because randomness god um yeah they, they chose the sentinel because it's easier to control than the cartel cruiser because if you have CPUs driving it it just sucks because yeah we're gonna have uh, AI driving which is gonna suck because uh these guys, they're not as hard as you think when they chase you because they're freaking idiots when they drive, I'm telling you. Because, yeah, look at that. Um, but they get to a certain point where they really are chasing you and you really want to drive, but it feels like they don't even see me. Because they're only driving on one side of the lane instead of just following me. And yes, take this way, it's safer. It, um, because if you just take the middle of the road, they'll eventually crash into places. And yeah, that's where you really want to drive. They'll eventually crash into places, and it's just so hard. But yeah, you want to lure them into here. And look at that. Can't even make his way in without getting stuck on the wall. But now he's coming, and we got groups of Yakuza over here. And they're going to kill the cartel, but you can only hurt the cartel while they're inside the Yakuza trap. But if you try to... Yeah, all of them had M16s, I think. No, some of them shotguns. I'm going to grab myself some ammo because I'm not at unlimited ammo in that. In any AK-47 shotgun or M16. They're, they'll have Uzis. Like, they'll, the most they'll have is shotguns, AK-47, I think. I'm not sure. M16s, AK-47s, and M16 shotguns and Uzis. That's what I'm sure that they have. So yeah, next we're going to go to the one that's located um, on the right at, and entrance of the dam. So yeah, for this one, I'm, I have a plan. When I get to yes, this point, I'm gonna make my car backwards. That way, I can just speed up right that instead of having to turn around. But the cartel guy messing you up. If you get out of your car, or if they explode your car, yep, blue arrow. If they explode your car, you're a bit screwed because they'll. I think they'll eventually get out, and that's when you really can't do anything about it. So you basically fail. So if the cartel guys like mess up in any way, they're then you're screwed. Like because even if it's not your fault, even if if it's their idiotic driving, you're the one who fails the mission. 
so annoying. But yeah, they're far back there, but they're gonna catch up. But, let's see. I'm not sure. Oh, perfect. Almost crashing in the wall. Alright, now let's try to kill the second man. I kill you! I love that. No, no, don't shoot him. Alright, almost. I shot my Yakuza guy. Yeah, see, now they have Uzis and one M16. Okay. So, I'm gonna take the Sentinel, which is not a damaged target. Or is it? No, now that I think about it, it has been shot up, I think, so. Wouldn't this explode if I crash it too much? Even if it's not on black smoke, it would still explode, because for different reasons, because the bullets were into it. You know, I'm just gonna take a cop car, even though it is pretty flip outable, but no. Nope. So I'm just gonna have to find a good car somewhere, I guess. I don't know. Oh, cheetah. There we go. Um, so let's do that. Yeah, I'd rather take the blue than the red. I want... Yeah. I actually like red. Like, between black and, uh... Between black and, uh, red, I had... I like the red cheetah, but, uh, the... But the red cheetah was near a cop, and the black cheetah was away from a cop, so I decided to steal a black cheetah instead, and I still got a wanted level. <laughs> Funny times, but we got another cheetah that's not uh, damaged, and it's at the third house where the other cheetah or the parked cheetah is. I think I think the cheetah might be spawned, and it's just a sentinel that's there. I, I don't really know where they're at there. Yeah, once they show up as a red mark on the map, that means the blue hour showed up, and it means they see you. Yeah. Really spin out. Yeah, this guy you want to be careful too. You want to want to lure him, like oh, it's coming up. When you're luring this the guy in Cedar Grove to the death squad, do not uh, do not turn right, like where the import export garage is, because that because his idiotic driving will fall down and that will screw you over. So I I I yeah, that's the that's another problem right there is them driving into the grass. I know that you can take all three of them at the same time. I, I know. I think that's how speedrunners do it anyway. Um, you know, the car's gonna explode. Oh god! Uh, explode. Okay. <laughs> Great. I just got shot up, and but the car exploded. I lost all my armor and passed the mission. So nice. Um, yeah. Take take all bullets um, from the guys and. It. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the the blue cheetah that I have, and yeah, that's the bait mission. It, it honestly, it's my least favorite of uh, all uh, three of super missions. The next one I actually find pretty fun, which is the mission we're actually gonna do in the next part as I turn into the police station here to get body and armor. It's a it, uh, body and armor with help, uh, body armor and health. That's what I meant to say. So we're gonna do. Uh, Asuka's second construction site mission in the next part, so I'll see you for that. Thank you for watching, and see ya.